Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, today I'm playing Starmate on... Alright, and today we have all types of fun and adventure planned. Uh, oh, I'm playing with these light bars in my decoration in my office here. I think I like them. And I changed up my desk, and now I have a connection problem. Oh, hold on. This will pass as I've been doing. Yeah, I have a nice screen there, using force field. I can turn it on and off. Anyway, that's not why you're here. You are here to see the trade network. All right, prepare yourselves. I'm going to open my inventory. Check out the credits. That is 136,265,544 credits with another million in the shop. Now, how... You might be asked, how did I come upon this this uh, amount of loot? Well, I did it through trading, and I want to talk about the trade networks today. All right, so you have your factory set up, and you have a, a uh, shop. You don't really need the factory. You need the shop, and you have stuff coming in and out of it and all that good stuff. And you have it hooked up to the trade network. All right, now you are going to want to search for, not search for offer, uh, you're going to want to... Yeah, search for offer. Let's see. What's something we have a lot of? Uh, gray hull. Uh, dark gray hull. That works. And we have the traders selling dark gray hull and buying dark gray hull. Squadron is only selling it. The outcasts are selling but not buying. And the scavengers are buying. They're buying for 10 and they uh, will buy up to 25,284. How much dark gray hull do we have? Uh, I actually want to set this to main inventory, use this personal cargo art. Uh, cargo, dark, gray, we have 342,000 dark gray hull. So let's, uh, let's see, dark gray hull, let's drop some in the shop, we want 25,000, because that is all the scavengers are buying. Now, when you uh, you have the list of uh, shop nodes here, notice we have traders, armada, two squadron. Uh, Dugamus and I have been trading back and forth. Little does he know he's been sending the materials to build a warship to destroy armada, but the less he knows, the better. Anyway, uh, scavengers. It was the scavengers. So you want to pick the place you want to search, or you can search for an offer. Like I have dark gray. Hull, and these are the people that have dark gray hull for to buy or sell, and we want the scavengers because they're buying for ten. So you find one you want and click order, and this order button's the same as if you gone. Oh, I remember it's the scavengers, and click order here. All right, now here's where things get a little iffy, or not iffy, a little less intuitive. Well, I guess not less intuitive. Anyway, let me explain it. Uh, here is the cost and profit you're going to receive. Here are the, I guess, the menu of stuff. I can buy alloy metal mesh for four for seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand, or seven. I can buy up to seven hundred and seventy-seven million of them. And if I wanted to, I can buy five fifty there. That puts it in the order. And I'm going to pay two hundred for the fifty and four thousand five hundred shipping costs. Now, the further away the nodes are from your shop the more shipping's going to cost, and the more stuff you, you buy. And you can edit it. I mistyped that I wanted 500, except I've noticed the edit doesn't work for me. So you have to close it, then reorder it again. But we want to sell. Buying's easy. Let's see, what's something we want to buy? And you can also search this using here. Capsules. Uh, Sapson. I'm usually out of Sapson. So let's buy... 5,000 Sapson. That's 50,000. Let's buy 5,000 Sapson. That's going to cost 7,200, and it's going to cost me 52,000 in shipping. But I don't just want to buy, I want to sell that uh, that dark gray armor. So we're going to click sell, and we're going to, uh, not dark gray armor, it's hull. Dark gray hull. I want to sell. And how many do I want to sell? I have 25,169 in the shop. I just want to sell the 20. 5,000. 
Now you notice it's gone up. This has gone from red to green. That means I'm now making a profit of 150,800 credits. And I'm paying 47,200 credits in, uh, in delivery cost. Now I've paid up to what was the highest, like 16 million in shipping, but I made like 40 million altogether. I'll show you how I did that here in a second. All right, so I, everything's good. I'm selling 25,000 Dirk Ray, and I'm buying 5,000 Sapson. Uh, when everything looks all right and you're done shopping, you click OK. And uh, here, it popped me back to the um, trade, or the shop menu. And under trade, it tells you, uh, from 6084 to Scavenger Home. Uh, it doesn't tell you what it is, but the volume, so I'm assuming that is the, the hull. And this is the... Yeah, I'm moving the hull there from me to them. It's going to take about 7 minutes and 52 seconds for my stuff to get to them and for theirs to get to me. So I won't actually see the Sapson that I bought on, for another 7 minutes, and they will deposit it directly into this shop. All right. And notice I have new mail. If I hit F4, I've done some other trading. New here. Space Station 608 Forge sold blocks to Scavenger Home. Sale price, and it gives the sale price, delivery cost, and the amount. Uh, and sometimes they will, if you have something for sale, or saying that you will buy something, sometimes they will send it to you. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Sold. Ah, receipt blocks. Uh, I received blocks from Scavenger Home Persing Capsule. No, that wasn't a that was a trade complete, not an order. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought I saved one of Dogamus's transactions here. Ah, uh, I guess I didn't. Anyway, it'll give you a, a receipt more or less, and you can delete it. I don't know if you reply or if that does anything. I though I'd really like to see um uh. A vamped up or a fleshed out mail system, like having folders so I can keep receipts and things like that. But instead of mark all those red, delete all, create new. I know this is helpful and good, but I, I prefer prefer to have folders so I can save some of this stuff. All right, that's basically how trading works. And in six minutes and fifty seconds, I'll get the parsing. Now I have my my shop set up because I'm uh, this is at the factory. I have down here. Over this way, I have a storage block here that's pulling uh, that's pulling all the capsules out at a thousand apiece out of the shop and then putting them into the the factory major or factory factory proper, I guess. So because I've been ordering capsules to, to for construction, they send them to the shop. This pulls it out of the shop, and this pulls it into from here into the main main uh, factory so I can use them. Also cuts down on mining time, and I don't get much sapson out here in my neck of the woods. Actually, I do my mining in this system. Oh, also see this? This is the, the green line here. That is the trade route. So this is actually where the, uh, the, the distance between the uh, where I'm buying and where I'm selling. The scavenger's home looks like what they're selling and buying. And now, I believe with player interactions, they're actually using um, uh, simulated shipping. But real, or later on, they will actually use real uh, cargo ships. I think when the NPCs trade between each other, they use real cargo ships with real cargo on them. But players, I believe it's still simulated. Anyway, you want to know how I made that obscene amount of money. All right, what I did. I went in. I said, all right, let's check out the traders. Let's hit sell, let's sort by price. Radar jammers. They want to sell, or they're buying radar jammers at 1,100 credits. Eh, that's not bad. Uh, Dugamus, he's not buying anything right now. Uh, oh, that's us. Uh, actually, that's not, that's Zactar's station. That's Tops. I don't want to sell to them. Outcast. Uh, they need radar jammers, and... Come on. Radar Jammer. Looks like Radar Jammers is the way to go. Now, I was selling, day before yesterday, I was selling scanner computers for 8,000 credits apiece. So I'd buy the resources I need, 
turned them into radar or scanner computers and sell them right back. And I just flooded the the uh, I flooded the market apparently. Uh, well, I sold like seven thousand scanner and uh, scanner computers, and that's how I've gotten my wealth so far. But let's see, uh, scanner antenna. They're selling for eleven hundred a piece, well, roughly. What do we need to make a scanner antenna? Is that an advanced change production scanner antenna? It is an advanced. I need Hattel and Thrins. Do I have Hattel and Thrins? I don't have any Hattel. So I guess I could go buy Hattel through the system, but um, let's check out what was the other thing that they were always check sell. Uh, radar jammers. What do, radar jammers, I think they're advanced. Radar jammer. Hattel and Thrins. Alright. So I'm out of luck for those two. Uh, selling. Uh, damage beam modules. What do damage beam modules take? Uh, they're in the standard factory. Damage beam modules take... Zenicar and Crystal Composite. I have that, and let's take those Hattel crystals out. So, we'll produce, oh, I don't know. How much is that going down? Three. We'll produce, ah, uh, 5,000. Four, and... Five? All right, we will actually, I want those there. Okay. Now we go to the shop, we drop our damage beams in, we go here, sell uh, damage beam modules. I have 5,168 to sell. I just want to do the 5,000. I just made 4 million in profit. I, well, I haven't made it yet. I When I click OK, I get 4 million in profit. There are eight. The 896000 in shipping cost. I guess I could find out who's closer and buy from them. But all right, that's fine. I get $4 million in, in, uh, in profit. Where's my office? This one, Yeah, this one's my office. All right. So, come back here. Shop. There's $5.8 million in here. You saw I started off with a million. So in a couple minutes, you have a substantial factory. You can, or even a mediocre factory, you can make millions without even thinking about it. And they sent us our our uh, receipt here, sold that many. And actually, if we hop back in to um, this, image beam modules, yeah, they're still high price. Now, be careful because you will affect the economy. There is an economy working. Like now, uh, scanner computers, they're worthless. Overdrive effect computers on the server, they're worthless trade-wise because I flooded the market with them and it'll probably take a long time for the NPCs to actually use enough of them to uh, get demand going again. I really need Armada to spark a war with one of these factions so they will up production and and drive, uh, drive the market and up demand. Hmm, I wonder how I could orchestrate that. Oh, oh, oh let's see. I uh, want to check, see... Ah, uh, two and a half minutes, or three minutes left on those, so... I'll get those in between, uh... In between episodes. Alright. Well, I have been JW608, this has been StarMate, and this has been Shop Nodes. Hopefully it's been useful, and I hope I'll see you next time. I'll dig you cats later.